Oh, they killed my dick out, girl. Oh, what happened, man? These motherfucking kids of mine. What I'm doing with my kids, man? <laughs> PNG God. Now, Nizzle, nigga, Pernell, nigga. Uh, y'all go fuck with him, yeah, man. Yeah. yeah. Damn, that was a fucked up. <laughs> yeah. How have you know it, Diamond? Every time Diamond come around, so like you ain't lying. That's fucked up, Pernell? I ain't heard from this nigga down there, down there two years. Damn. Nah, for real. Shit. Hey man, Diamond Stone TV, man. OG Percy, what's up, okay, man? Okay, 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 okay. Damn man, it's oh, been a minute, man. I know you. I know you. You was. You was. You was sick at one point. Oh man. yeah, man. Yeah, doing bad, man. But look, look, look yeah. but, but um, look at God. Won't he do it? Yeah. Yes, he will. <laughs> hey man. Yeah, um, man. Okay. Hey, I got a question, man. I want to ask you, okay. man. Um, okay. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna. We're gonna. We're gonna stick with the Ferguson unit on this okay, one, man. Let's um, go. I've been seeing a lot of different things, man, and um, I just like I, I just want to know, man, when you first like got the Ferguson unit, bro. Like, I know we we did the stories and stuff, you know what I'm saying? But just give right. us a rundown, man. Like, like when you when you hit the unit, man. Like, like was you already thinking off top you was gonna be a bad actor? Um, no, nah, man. No, most definitely not that. When I, when I first pulled up on the back of Ferguson, I really just knew. I was going to a place where niggas was like me or worse than me. Right. You know what I'm saying? Uh, when I, when I, when my intentions on the bus, you know, when, I, when that nigga hear me that note uh, in Huntsville, at Diagnostics. You yeah. know what I'm saying? When I was on Diagnostics, when everybody was getting confirmed, you know, getting sent to that unit, and I got the letter that I was going, when I came out of committee, they give you these letters, I got my letter saying, um, you going, you had an FB on this, where I'm going. I'm going to say, oh, you going to Ferguson. I said, Ferguson? I said, God damn. Okay, right then. Right then, I knew. Uh, well, it's time, God damn me. Uh, right. Yeah, I, I knew right then. You know, all the stories I've heard, all the war stories, like, way before this, man. Right, right, I right. I had been on Century Houston, Century Unit, Dawson Unit, Middleton Unit, all the Hudson big, Unit. All the big units. All, I ain't been on every unit I have been on, you understand me, but I ain't never been to a major. It's the major. It's the major league when it come down to gladiators, Gladiator. fighting, yeah. shit like that, and you know the shit that you on. Yeah. Uh. And I said, yeah, I'm on my way now. And right then, that day, man, I just talking about I locked my jaws. God damn it! And I set my mind and my heart in a certain place. The same place I set my mind and heart went on. I got put in the back of that police car for the first time. You know, when they put them handcuffs on me, they put me in the back of that seat, and I was headed on downtown, I was in the back, my mind goes somewhere else. My mind say, well, shit, this is it. Yeah. And, um, at that time, that's what my mind was saying. Well, you're on your way to Ferguson, this is it. God damn it, so on. Um, stay strong, nigga, and hold your shit. Some just told me, hold your own. Some just kept telling me in my head, hold. The whole time I was on my way, some just hold told me, own. hold your own. Yeah. Nigga, hold your own, nigga. I mean, no matter, I mean, no matter what, uh, shit, it's real over here. I knew this. I knew this before I even hit the gate. My big brother had been over there in 85. My big brother went to Ferguson in 86. Yeah, yeah. You, yeah my big brother was on Ferguson in 86 when they was, glad, yeah, was gladiator for real. You know what I'm saying? They, them niggas the one was putting the name on it. You dig what I'm saying? Uh, and the stories he was telling me over there, the rides he was in, the killings and shit that happened over there when he was there. Right. Uh, I already knew where I was headed to. You dig what I'm saying? And uh, when I hit that back gate, man, we pulled up on that on that bus, man. And uh, I never forget. I looked at the unit. I was like, yeah, this this this, this one of them square business places. Yeah. As soon as we got off the bus, I never forget. You know, when we going in, um, some inmates that's that's been transferred, that's been released. You know, they getting on the bus. Right. We getting off the bus. Right. And uh, I'm not gonna lie. That it was an inmate that walked up. That was being released. Really put something in my head. Uh, hold your own. And, and when I pulled up and that inmate said something to me, he was walking up. He said, Yeah, nigga, welcome to Ferguson, nigga. He had a walk. He had this walk about himself. 
and he swag about himself, nigga had the tattoo, I'm looking at him. He said, nigga, welcome to Ferguson, welcome to hell, niggas. Welcome to hell, nigga, it's Ferguson, y'all on Ferguson now, nigga, welcome to hell. And he, and he got on the bus to leave, and I got off the bus coming. Yeah. And, um, shit, hold young, nigga. Hold young. When I hit that, when I hit the unit, man, um, you know, heart, mind, and soul, you know what I'm saying? I mean, you a nobody when you get up in there. Don't nobody know you, nigga. Yeah. You walk in that door, nigga. Don't nobody know you. Niggas don't, niggas don't give a damn if you can fight. Don't nobody know you. That's, that's, that's the, um. The mind frame I got when I come through the door. These niggas don't know me. These niggas just gonna know who you is from this day forward. When you hit this motherfucker. Hold your own, nigga. I'm yeah. talking about, um. That hold your own statement is, ve is real, is a real, is a real statement to hold. I'm talking about it at, at any minute, at any cost, because Cause you can hold your own three and four times in one day. Four and five, you probably have to hold your own five and six times in right. one day. You know what I'm saying? Nigga, can you hold your own? You hear me? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Niggas lose that hold your own on their first from trying to hold it. <laughs> well, that went out the door. But he tried to hold his own. You dig what I'm saying? And nigga, you might be tried three and four times that day when you first, you first, don't nobody know you. See, that's what niggas don't, niggas don't come in this motherfucker. Some niggas that's been in the system, Got a name in the system, cause they been around. You dig what I'm saying? These right. niggas, these niggas just, these niggas just been around. Uh, but when they come in this motherfucker, they feel like they got a pass, cause they been. In, I didn't know when I hit Ferguson. One thing I didn't know. Shit, nigga, my name made it over there before I did. You dig what I'm saying? Oh, your name was already there in the. Say, niggas already heard about you. About being a real nigga. Yeah. You hear me? Nigga, I'm on my way to Ferguson. Somebody, I would say my name beat me there. Um, how did I know that? When I got ready to go to child, niggas said, say, man, they want, niggas want to holler at you in the child. Drico want you in the child hall. Like, goddamn, how Drico know? Drico, her? You know what I'm saying? Um, I came in, man, I was quiet. I, I looked around. Um, my first hold my own move is when I walked up on a, no, a, a crib, nigga, and asked him where the checking was. You know what I'm saying, me? I really want to check him off the rip. You know, to get mine on after wait, let niggas right. know I'm square business. Right. Cause like I said, don't nobody know you. I want niggas to know I'm her. I want niggas to know I'm her. I don't care who I look at first. You know, I want these niggas to know I don't care who it was. I ain't care who it was. Uh, I heard one guy say, man, that uh, I bumped heads with one of the niggas in their name should, and, and they couldn't believe that it didn't go down. Well, the only thing I can tell you niggas the ass should. <laughs> you understand me? He a good nigga. Uh, Shook said something to me in that day room that day. He said, say, look at home. And that was, I mean, I mean, that was a, that was the first time a nigga shoot, shot a bombshell at me. When nigga say, say, man, you know, like I say, he don't know me, I don't know him. Right. You understand me? And the nigga bust out and said, say, man, look at me, uh, them blood niggas business, get out their business. And I looked at that nigga and I told him, nah, nigga, this Eastwood business, nigga, this Fort Worth business. He said, well, I'll tell you what, when they finish taking care of their business, me and you gonna take care of our business. And that's when I knew, nigga, we finna take care of our business right now, let's get it. Yeah. Yeah, that was that conversation. And and, and shit blew up. Shit. Yeah. Had to hold my own. Yeah. Had to hold my own. Right then. I was shit, nigga. Any any sign of um nigga trying to get at you. Yeah. Mentally or physically. You got them niggas, some niggas don't stand up to that. When I walked in that door, man, um nigga named Nate boy out of Hollywood tried to hold me down. Me and him got that got our paper in the gym right off the rip. Right, right off the rip. I think it was the second day I was there. I, I, I scratched with Nate Boy. Nate Boy out of Pollywood. Yeah, come on, man. Uh, nice little scratch. Yeah. I tried to take I tried to take it further than where it should have went. You understand me? I wanted to get it. No, that was in the gym. I want I wanted to get my paper in the, in the, in the no no uh, under the TV and everything. You understand me? Uh. I remember Suge got into an altercation with a crib nigga one time in the day room. And I ran in front of the day room. And I was finna smoke the nigga for Suge. Cause I found out Suge was the nigga holding the shots down. Well, if he's holding the shots down, I'ma be a sidekick nigga. You know what I'm saying? That's what I said, I'ma be a sidekick nigga. You understand me? When, when it'll jump off and Suge get into it, I'ma get into it. I'ma let niggas know I'm square business. 
I'm trying to rock with the niggas that's at the top already. So one day I seen Suge get into it with a nigga and, you know, I was sitting in the back and um, Suge got his own business. You know, he got his, you know, I, he don't need me. Don't get me, he don't need me for shit. You understand me and um, he let me do that when I ran up there cause, but the thing is I ran up there. They was like, God damn, who, who is this nigga? I just knew he was a crip. And I seen him get into it with another nigga and I ran to the front and I finna smoke the nigga. And shit to say, man, hold on, chill out. Now I got this, man. He said, say, like, oh, it, ain't that, it ain't that serious. I'm like, oh, it ain't? It ain't? Oh, okay, then. Now niggas, now everybody in the, you know, the day when they watching me. Who, who was that nigga? Nigga just got here. Nigga, yeah, nigga, he a crib nigga. Don't smoke shit. Uh. -huh. To stand out from the next nigga, I did shit other niggas didn't do. Crip niggas looked at me and blood niggas did look, all them niggas looked at me crazy when I hit the wreck yard. Ask me why, damn. Why? Nigga I had on blue hat, blue gloves, and a blue bandana. Some of them niggas I ain't never seen before on Ferguson. What, what nigga? Yeah, that part. Right. Yeah, nigga, real nigga shit. I'm talking about when, 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 when Miss McQueen, the gang unit, with her whole time hot. Right. When niggas would hide and duck from Miss McQueen. When niggas were looking at me like, damn, this nigga, you checking. Ask the niggas on Ferguson. They remember when that crip nigga come out there and had the blue gloves on, the blue bandana, and the blue hat. When you niggas were just scared to say blue. That type of shit, yeah. Right. Because they were scared of Miss McQueen. Miss McQueen was, a, was, a, was the gang intelligence lady. She was the GI. She was square business. She didn't play nothing. Any sign of blue or something, you come around. Any sign of red, you come around. You yeah. understand me? And she'll lock you up and have you, you know, you know, the bitch gonna do her homework on you. Yeah. She didn't play. Yeah. Niggas was scared of her. Yeah. I remember one time I was out there on the record while working out, man, and she was standing in the window like this looking at me. And all these niggas, and I was you, like. Well, you, what you do, you lift up at it, you lock eyes with it. I had my blue gloves on. I had my, see, and that's something you better not have around her. Better yet, sign. If she gonna roll you for your tattoos, nigga, just imagine you get caught with a blue rag. Just imagine you get caught with blue gloves. You yeah. imagine, you know what I'm saying? It was so much gangster shit going on when I had showed up. She wanted to come find out who was this person. Got you know what they told him? You gotta catch him at Rick. I was a ghost. I had a name. I was doing my thing. You understand me? And uh, they couldn't put a face with a name. You understand me? You know they kept saying one day he'll get in trouble. We'll find out who he is. No, I won't. I'm nice. You understand me? I know how to move and groove. Uh. And so one day I'm, I'm out there working out on the rec yard and I got my blue gloves on, my blue bandana and my blue hat on. I'm out there, I'm, I'm hitting that iron. Then I heard a nigga say, don't go Miss McQueen, Miss McQueen, watch out. Miss McQueen, Miss McQueen. Everybody can say Miss McQueen. Everybody got to running like roaches. Yeah. Shit, nigga, I'm skinking, skinking, eating, eating. Doing my bag on, I'm working out. Yeah, you know she's looking at you though. Now, I, I know I'm the target. Yeah. She didn't care about number one person. She was looking for OG person. Who was the OG person dude? And I had the OGP tatted on the top of my white head up, bro. <laughs> I had my whole head bent like it was a bandana. I had my gloves painted in all blue. And I had my goddamn blue rag in my pocket. Nigga, I'm the hottest thing on the motherfucking yard right now. You hear me? Yeah. <laughs> what? Say, she looking, and these niggas scattering like roaches. Like, get, I mean, they don't even want to be seen around me. That's how cold she is, because guess what? She gonna arrest me and everybody around me. Get all them right there. All y'all right. come on. These niggas got from around me like, I didn't exist. And they, then she hit that door and came to the wreck yard. You know, it's a different when you just looking out the window. And then here she come. Here she come, y'all. Here she come. Here she come. And these niggas scared of this woman, man. They scared of her. Mexicans, white boys, blacks, everybody scared of yeah. her. She had that name for herself. Yeah. Gonna, it ain't now motherfucker on Ferguson that say that they wasn't scared of McQueen motherfucking ass. Miss McQueen coming to get you. Yeah. Yeah, by the time you see her, she not send her goons in there to get you. By the time you see her face, she like the mob. But anyway, uh, she came to the wreck yard, she said, hey, you. I looked at her like, yeah, what's up? She said, give me that. Give you what? Give me them gloves, give me that bread, and, and, and give me that hat. Shit, for what? You want my hat? Shit, yeah. I had a hat. Give me them gloves. These gloves, yeah. She said, yeah, they altered. They altered. They don't supposed to be like that. What make them out to? You know, I start questioning my shit. They like, this nigga tripping. This nigga, this nigga over here tripping. This nigga saying shit. Man. Yeah, what you want my shit for? You know what I'm saying, me? I don't know. That it could have got worse than what it was. Right, I don't know. Right, right. So everybody looking at you. Yeah, oh, they stuck. 
They stuck. They don't. They, oh, he tripping now. Oh, he finna be gone now. That's it. He fucking with the right one. That's what they saying. I'm just saying. I don't know who she is. She don't know who I am. Goddamn. All I know is she trying to get my shit. You understand me? But I need a reason why you trying to take my shit from me. Out here on this wreck yard. Shit, niggas don't know, boy. She later on down the line, I, I found that shit. She didn't even have to wait on all that. She square business. But I gave her the shit on the wreck yard. But I questioned her, what, what you want my gloves for? She said they wasn't blue when you bought them. Okay, then. And she said that red, that was a white handkerchief. It wasn't blue, so it's been altered. But she really took it and put it up. She really went, took it and did an investigation. OG Percy wrote. And she looked me up to see who I was and won't, won't, won't. She started doing her homework on me. Um, besides the GI doing homework on me, niggas in there doing their homework on me. You got more niggas in there trying to see who the fuck I am. And this and that nigga, my background clean. My background so clean, I was working clean in there. Yeah, uh. Um. Shout out to my nigga Butch, man. Shout out to Butch, man. Shout out to Butch, man. R.I.P. the big ant, too, man. On yeah. Ferguson. Uh. Let me tell y'all something. Number one, my, my little my little breeze through Ferguson wasn't long, niggas. Yeah. You understand? Let me tell y'all something. It's a saying in the world called real recognize real. You dig what I'm saying? Shit, kid. <coughs> yeah, man. Cause real recognize real, man. Yeah. Let me tell y'all something. You don't gotta be somewhere. It only take me five minutes to figure a nigga out. Right. You know what I'm saying? Uh. And when niggas figure you out and they don't let you square business. Some things you ain't gonna have to go through. You dig what I'm saying? Uh, some things I didn't have to go through when I hit Ferguson. Right. I didn't have to go through niggas trying me every day. Yeah, that's one thing I didn't have to go. I didn't have to go through niggas trying to connive me and scheme me and scheme. I didn't have to go through niggas trying to rape me every day. You know, I didn't have to go through niggas trying to put me under their wing every day. You know what I'm saying? I didn't have to go through it. Shit. Stand up for yourself. That, that, that's, that's the main goal, stand for the for, for yourself. I mean, however it go down. Yeah. But um, niggas was really trying to figure me out. You had blood niggas watching me, crip niggas watching me, GD niggas watching me, vice lord niggas watching me, uh, man, dingo niggas watching me, folk niggas watching me, white boys watching me, ABs watching me, Thango Blast watching me, MA watching me, everybody watching me. Don't nobody know me, I just got the. They trying to figure you out. How long do it take for them to figure you out? Weird niggas that don't take them nothing but a day. Right. Fuck niggas didn't take them down in six to seven months to find out who you is. Me, I didn't talk to more. One thing about getting in this system and, 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 and building yourself, watch this, building your brand while you in there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, I was the quiet nigga. I didn't talk to niggas. Only time I came, something came out my mouth, it was on some gangster shit. That was me. You understand me? I, I ain't want no friends, no homeboys. Ain't none of you niggas in here, my partners. None of that. I came in this bitch on my own. I gotta leave on my own, nigga. And I gotta stand up for myself. Yeah. You hear me? And I know I'm looking at the I'm looking at the odds against me. Uh, cause niggas went on what I was on when I got there. Right. Nah. Nah, niggas talking that shit. Yeah. Niggas went on when I was on when you I got there. Said that in one of your rap battles. Yeah, yeah, because if they was, I wouldn't have been a problem yeah. when I got there. Yeah. Boy, that's fire. Nah, real talk. If, if niggas was on what I was on when I got there, I wouldn't have been a problem. I just would have blended in and fitted in with the rest of you niggas. Yeah, because y'all on the same shit I'm on. But you niggas went on what I was on. That's why my name stood out from the rest. That's why when I got there, niggas watched me do shit that niggas wasn't doing. It was some gangsters, don't get me wrong, gangsters was already in there. Suge then was already in there. KB was already in there. Sesse was already in there. Murder was already in there. Uh, Snake was already in there. Silk was already in there. Butch was already in there. Drico was already in there. The gangsters was already in there, nigga. When I got there. Right. Shit. But guess what? I still stood out <laughs> from the rest, nigga. You hear what I'm saying? No, and, and, not, and that's not on no... Nigga, that's about the way I walk, talk, and carry myself. Some niggas looked at my character and said, oh, nigga, that nigga bullshit, he faking. But all you gotta do is come fuck with it. All you gotta do is come fuck with it and see if I'm bullshitting. Yeah. Or if he just bluffing. Go fuck with it. Uh, shout out to my nigga Stinson, man. <laughs> Richie Stinson, man. Shout out to that nigga, man. T, man. Uh. It, it, it's hard. 
to impress niggas when niggas already think they better than you anyway. This is man, um, nigga asked a question on, on a show I seen the other day. Nigga said, man, we want to know how he did that, man. How he did. I heard some niggas say that my stories was fabricated. You know, and you know, damn, I feel like that's an insult to the TV station. So I just, fabricated. I was flabbergasted. <laughs> yeah. Nigga said we were fabricated. I was flabbergasted when you said that. Nigga, we ain't never made up nothing. I, my life ain't never been a lie. Nigga, I ain't never got to tell a story to tell a story. Boss, nigga. I just had to get that out. You hear me? <laughs> yeah. I ain't never got to tell a story to tell a story. My life. Is a book in his own, man. But um, one of the guys wanted to know how did he do that. I just, you know, and, and he said, and I, I want, I, I gotta respect something the man said. Everybody has their opinion. They hear my story and niggas question it. That's their opinion. They got a right to do that. Yeah. That's your opinion. You, some nigga got to say, you know, wait, man, hold on. Let me think about that. He said he was doing what? He said he was doing all that. I, I, you know, some shit just ain't gonna sit right in some niggas' heart and head. And whatever. he couldn't have been doing that, man, because he was doing that. This would have happened. Yeah. If he was doing this, that would have happened. Well, one guy wanted to know how the hell did I do it. Well, I got an answer for that guy today. I'll let you know how I did. I played my card smart. Nigga, I want to crash dummy. And guess what? The laws had to come. I let niggas tell it on me. I didn't tell it on niggas. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, the wardens and the captains and the lieutenants and the majors and the colonels, they want to know who the fuck I was besides you inmates. You want to know how I did it? The inmates helped me do it. Because every time you look up, them niggas were putting paperwork in on me. Yeah. Niggas was snitching on me, nigga. Niggas was dry snitching every time something came up. Person name had a whole bunch of paperwork on him. And it didn't come. Watch this. Let me, let me make sense to you niggas. You know what I'm saying, me? And, and, and they got my name to the authorities. Niggas been snitching on me. I walked around and cried. But nigga, I moved dangerous, nigga. Yeah. It ain't now a nigga can tell you in the penitentiary I ran from now, nigga. It ain't now a nigga in the penitentiary said a nigga came up there and hold me, nigga. You hear me? Yeah, now, nigga. I went into shit like that. I didn't bully niggas, I didn't hog niggas, and I didn't steal from no nigga. You hear me? Right. And guess what I did? Down, I made sure niggas around me didn't do the same. That's how I built my name. Because guess what? That's what them niggas was doing. They was bullying niggas, hogging niggas, stealing from niggas, taking from niggas. I didn't want them type of niggas around me. You hear me? Nah, nigga, you niggas trouble. You understand me? So I weeded them niggas from around me, nigga. And it was Crip niggas doing it. I didn't fuck with punks. It was Crip niggas fucking with punks. You understand me? Yeah. Yeah, it was Crip niggas hogging niggas. Right. Crip niggas walking around with niggas under their wing. You a bully, nigga. I didn't fuck with bullies, nigga. Right. Nigga, any nigga that was a bully, nigga, I didn't want them around me, nigga. And when I started casting out the niggas that was bullies, niggas start trying to cast me out. Niggas would go and put that paperwork in on me. That's what niggas was doing. Say these niggas was so cold, down there nigga, they would sign my name nigga and pass it around, pass the note around, and have about like 20 or 30 signatures on this motherfucking different crypt niggas trying to get down on start, me. Start to, uh, try to get you shipped out. They trying unit. to get me away from there, man. Yeah. Nigga I, nigga, I stood out from the bitch niggas. You get what I'm saying? You, 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 the, the, the politic niggas, I stood out. I, I, I fuck with them little young rough riders over there in the corner. Right. They like beating on the bench and rapping and chilling and shit. They doing their time. Why these niggas over here reading newspapers and shit and Sports Illustrated and shit and old magazines and shit with their glasses on their nose and shit. Old crib niggas. Nigga, I'm not, I don't want to do that. Nah, I don't want to be one of them old crib niggas sitting on the bench over there trying to just tell niggas what to do. And that I know something they ain't going to do. Yeah. I know one thing about them young niggas. I led by example. Nigga, you be sitting right here now. You turn around here. God damn, what happened? We was fighting. God damn. Yeah. Yeah, god damn. Person them, god damn. Yeah. That's how exciting it was. You hear me? Yeah. And niggas, and niggas, you know, itchy now. Niggas start standing up against the wall now. Niggas coming there putting their backs up against the wall because they don't know what's going on in this motherfucker today. Shit like that. The niggas didn't want to live like that. We need to get this nigga up out of her. Like I say, man, I'm sitting in this motherfucker and I was just being me. And I stood out from other niggas. On the basketball court. Yeah, I know I stood out. Right. Nigga on the weight pad, I stood out. 
over there in the little sucker, in the, in the, in the grass that I built. It, it, it's, it's a weight pile out there on first, next to the bench. Yeah. Had a little patch of grass in it. By the time I left that motherfucker, that motherfucker was number dirt, nigga. We fought so much in that little spot right there. When I started over there, it was a grass patch. When I left that hole, that bitch was number dirt, solid, straight dirt. That's how much niggas been dancing in that spot over there by the weight pile. Yeah. Yeah. Them niggas was happy to see that grass start back growing over there by the weight pile. We, we danced all the dirt out there. We stayed in that grass over there. Yeah. That grass was nothing but flat dirt. But it'll surprise you how these niggas uh-uh. I try to get you out the way. And they your own self niggas. Like right now, man, even out here in the world today, man. Yeah. It's sad yeah. to see how you know you, you join an organization and at the end that same organization be the one to take you out. But that's just like the mob. You hear me? <laughs> I've been seeing the mob send for niggas for years. Danny Brasco, you know, we sent for Danny. You understand me? And it seems like Crip niggas are sending for niggas now. But anyway, back to the story at hand, man, on Ferguson, man, I stood out from these niggas. I got arrested one day, got sent to jail out of nowhere, sitting in my desk at school, man, and, 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 and come to find out the lady, the system, the system had got tired of this right here, pa paperwork. From, the, from not from niggas, that, from crib niggas, from crib niggas that was, that scared them one person around. Nigga, this is what y'all was doing. This is what they was doing to me. Nigga know who they is, they were doing, that's all they did. Yeah. Paperwork. Paperwork, get him out of here. Get him up out of here. You know what I'm saying? They, they said the pen is mightier than the sword. You hear me? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they, they knew, them niggas knew how to work. You know, we can't beat them physically. Oh, we got a game for him. He can't beat that pen. And one thing about that pen, you put that pen in the right nigga hand, boy. She. A nigga had you somewhere in a straight jacket somewhere looking crazy. You dig what I'm saying? Um, and after that 96 days worth of torment, then I had to go sit back there in the hot box. Because of my own kind, yeah, on Ferguson. You know, that's 96 days wasted in, 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 in um, what, what y'all call it? The, um, on transit. On transit. And I'm that's on, when you first got there to the unit? I mean, this, this I ain't been there. That's when I first started making my name for myself. You hear me? How, so how long was you, how long was you on the unit when you, when you, uh, when you had to do them 90-some days back then? I had been there about like a year and a half. Yeah. I had been there about like a year and a half by then. They, right. they, they snuck me. They snuck me. Yeah. By then, yeah, I had been there about like a year and a half. You got your weight up uh, more back there. Oh, yeah. I couldn't dance around. I could, I, I could push that flow up. Shout out to King Beasley and, you know, and all them niggas that were back there in solitary with me. God damn me. They, you know, cause they did a whole round of it. Got us all out the way. They got everybody out the way that uh, feel like they was a threat to the system. Yeah. But as soon as they got me out the way, niggas went back to doing bitch shit and hoe shit. And guess what? The system seen that, well, he was more, you know what? The system seen they got played. You know, when he was out there in public, they wasn't doing this shit. Remember that cabin fire? They weren't even doing this when they, you know, guess what they said? Guess, guess what? Guess what, Captain? Guess what? Um, yeah, McQueen said to GI. Guess what she said? Oh, we need Demerson back out there. That's what the GI said. Right, and this is when she came to you and she yeah. told you, yeah. like, hey, we got to get this shit under control. Yeah. Get you, yeah. And we'll get, we'll, see, let me tell this nigga something. Another thing that this nigga asked, how did I do it? Because I was made a proposition. The proposition was Demerson. This came from the warden and the captain and the colonels and the lieutenants. But mainly from the warden. Demerson. Now watch this. This is how I did it. This is what they want to know. This is what they're going to find out.